And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is pushing back against pressure for a ceasefire in Gaza. This after President Biden told reporters that Netanyahu is not doing enough to secure one. Several demonstrations are underway in response. WGN's Angelica Sanchez reports from The Loop. The calls for a ceasefire in Gaza continue abroad and here at home. Chicago, just blood. Nothing has changed from our perspective. There hasn't been any significant policy changes, any end to Israeli uh, military aid from the U.S. All of those things and demands that we made two weeks ago uh, are still demands that we're asking for now. And free, free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Chance for the U.S. to end aid to Israel took over the South Loop Monday afternoon. This is the 48th protest of its kind in Chicago. Organizers once again calling out the Biden administration. We're beyond the demand for a ceasefire at this point. Our demand is to end military aid and political aid and all forms of aid to the state of Israel. While speaking to reporters, President Joe Biden said Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu needs to do more on ceasefire talks. Do you think he's doing enough? No. For the second day in a row, hundreds of thousands of people have taken over Israeli streets in protests. This after Israeli's military recovered the bodies of six hostages killed by Hamas. Thousands of workers in Israel are now on strike in anger over failure to secure a ceasefire and release of the remaining hostages. Prime Minister Netanyahu is pushing back against the criticism, saying in a news conference he will not be preached to. Following a rally in the South Loop, protesters marched down Michigan Avenue, saying demonstrations like this will be ongoing even on holidays like today to make sure their demands are heard. Reporting in the South Loop, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News.